So let me explain to y'all how the shaker tray works that I made. So here's the tray, it has the frame wall so that you can have depth. So you can, to make the shaker tray, you can just put your clear sheet over this, which is acetate paper. Um, I use UV resin to cure the acetone paper to make sure it sticks on the frame. Then you would squirt your oil and water in here. And then that just would be your tray. I suggest using that, or it's up to you. You can use it with just the the uh, acetate paper over the top and just have a flat tray. If you want the tray to have some depth, then you would make sure you, your acetate paper is on there. And I suggest letting your acetate paper dry before you fill it. Then you put your frame over it. And then you use UV resin for this too. And this will add depth to your um, tray. Before you put this frame on, you will have your acetate paper. You want to dome your acetate paper. Make sure you poke holes so that it doesn't puff up. Then you would put this on. Let's take a look at the mold. This is the mold. This is not the correct way. I have to redo the mold. So this is the mold. This is the mold for the frame. So it's a two part. So you have the choice of just making a regular tray or making a shaker tray. And when I sell these, these two will go together. I'm lying. They won't. <laughs> no, they will come together. 